I love the Steelers selecting Najee Harris. I love it. Because if you watch my live stream, when we stepped up for that 24 pick, right? When we stepped up for the 24 pick, I was like, Tevin Jenkins, Samuel Cosme, or Najee Harris. Well, I knew it was going to be Najee Harris. Okay, I kind of knew that was going to be Najee Harris. And I love that, right? Because before the draft even happened, I was like, if we draft Najee Harris, woohoo. If we draft O-line, let's go. Like, it's the same thing because we're all helping out our running game in either situation. And look at this. Like, Najee Harris is out of his mind. He just took the whole Ohio State team and said, you can't tackle me. He basically just taunted them all with his shiftiness and power. He's the best overall back in this class. I think Javante is number two, Etienne number three, number four, Michael Carter. I know I changed my opinion a lot, but last night I even said that Najee Harris was my best overall back. And yeah, I think that a lot of people are going to disrespect him, right? I think that happens every year. Last year was with Claypool. They said we should have taken a running back, but this is perfect. And the thing that I love even more about this situation is Kevin Colbert after was like, we are very confident in the depth of O-line in this class. By the way, shout out to the Raiders for taking Alex Leatherwood. You guys are grade A idiots. But back to the point, we can still get a Walker Little. We can still get a Brady Christensen. We can still get a Samuel Cosme. Maybe Samuel Cosme. Hopefully Samuel Cosme. Because if we get Samuel Cosme, I am throwing a whole party. Like, I'm just lost for words if we draft Samuel Cosme round two and Najee Harris round one. Because Samuel Cosme, for me, was a round one pick at 24, if you've seen my mock drafts. But yeah, we're going to have a great run game next year with Matt Canada with Najee Harris, with a rebuild O-line. Big Dot is coming back. Zach Banner is great in run blocking, right? I have my questions about him when it comes to pass protection. But in this system, when you're a tackle and you're great at run blocking, that's really going to benefit your pass blocking. So yeah, I'm super excited. And another thing people say is, oh, he's 23, so he's not going to last you that long, which I completely disagree with because one, this is not the 1970s, and two, he's built genetically different from all those other guys by country mile i mean if you look at his genetics versus all those other guys genetics it's not close on why he is gonna last till 29 or 30 because he's 6'2 he has extremely ultra charm and thick legs pause again i'm just on a streak today with this and he's also super shifty along with being a great wide receiver so his genetics are just different from all those other guys as i said and i am super excited to have him on the team and the last thing i will say is he's a great kid i mean he's a great overall kid that's probably his most underrated trade because we all know what he can do on the field but i hope you guys enjoyed this video got a lot of other prospect videos coming out soon so stay tuned for that hope you all enjoyed it and that is it for me on this one i'm gonna do a video on our second round pick stay tuned